This week I haven't had much time, so I've done a small update, so I thought I'd just give a really quick demo of that. As before, we'll initialize all the synthesizers. And this is the uh, music that I think I demoed in the last example, actually. So if I just play the drums here, you see now I have the orange highlight showing which of the drum patterns is being drawn in the is being played. So if I play this pattern as well. Put the mandolin in. So this was always the plan. Um, turn that down. This was always the plan. I needed to um, do some work though to plumb through the note events so that they arrived in the right place for the editor. I still have some work to do. I still have some work to do because at the moment this isn't plumbed into the marker system that I have so when I move from the editor the highlights break. But the marker system that I have here, let's put one in here. little underline here does have the facility to move around with the text so that's my next job is to integrate the two I'm going to make a marker that gets declared when the shader is compiled when, when the music file is compiled so that it contains this range and then the marker can specifically highlight each note depending on what's being played but this is an interesting problem getting the audio data back and figuring out which notes are being played uh, my approach to it is that the UI thread has an approximate idea of what's being played um, independent of the audio thread which is doing the high resolution timing and scheduling of notes. So obviously you can't tell the difference but the the effect is that the editor is being displayed on the UI thread uh, in whatever time it needs uh, and that doesn't hold up the audio thread which is obviously very busy just playing the notes. And I think that's it.